You want to save time and money on site? Great! In this video, we will show you how to separate on-device commissioning and plant creation. After connecting the inverter via Wi-Fi on-site, you can finish the plant creation and device initialization comfortably remote with the iSolar Cloud Web Portal. So, let's start with the on-site commissioning. Open the iSolar Cloud app and click on Local Access at the bottom left. Scan the QR code on the Ynet module. Press the orange button three times. Click Join to connect to the Ynet hotspot and to proceed with the device initialization. Also, make sure to note the serial number of the Ynet S or to take a picture of the QR code. This information will be needed during plant creation from remote later. Use the general account name admin and password PW8888. Click on Verification. The commissioning is split into two phases, the network connection and the device initialization. Click on Network. Select the customer's home Wi-Fi network and enter the password. You will see an orange check mark once the communication device is connected successfully to the home network. Let's proceed with device initialization. Now you see the inverter model and serial number. Click on Country Region to choose the grid code. Further define your parameters to complete the device initialization. Now the inverter is configured successfully. Within a few minutes, the inverter will connect to the grid and start producing. Click Complete to finish your work on site. Now the inverter is connected to the internet and you can create your plant fully remotely on the web portal of isolacloud.com. Once the device has been initialized successfully, the next steps of the commissioning can be done remotely. To do so, log in to your account on isolacloud.com. Click on the plus button on the top right corner to create a new plant. Choose your plant name and plant type and fill in the rest of your plant data like installed power in kilowatt peak, country or region, grid connection type and date. You can also upload a plant image. Enter the location of the plant by filling out the plant address field. Fill in the plant owner's email address. The owner will get an email notification that the plant has been created. He or she will receive a link to create an end user account. Click on Expand to add the feed-in and consumption tariff to calculate the plant revenue. Now you have to add the communication device. Click on Select. Choose the communication device Ynet S. Add the serial number and click on Add. Alternatively, you can click on Identify QR code and upload the QR code picture that was taken on site. It's also possible to directly drag and drop the picture into the box. Click on Create Plant. Your plant was created successfully and has been paired with a device on site. In the section Device Information, you can check the current working status of the devices. The green lights indicate that the devices are communicating with the server. The plant is online and everything is working properly. If you click on Settings, you can check if the grid code was set up correctly on site. If not, you can even redo the full initial grid connection remotely. To do so, click on the checkbox next to the plant name. After that, click on Initial Grid Connection. Choose your country or region and click on Apply Settings. Enter your login password and click on Confirm. Click on Confirm again to send the command. Click on Continue Waiting and wait for the response of the inverter. Now you can fill in more data about your plant like the installed PV power and other required information like feed-in limitation. Click on Apply Settings and enter your login password again. Click on Confirm. In the task list, you can check the execution status at any time. Now the grid code and parameters have been successfully set and the inverter is ready for operation. The creation of the plant is complete.